Hey, good evening, friends. Today is Monday, July the 8th, 2024. The time now is 7.36 p.m. I am going to apologize immediately for the background. I did not plan this, okay? I actually just got out of class, okay, from work. I attended class and then after class, I decided to uh, make uh, this quick uh, video or talk or program and I basically came into the library and basically immediately uh, after making some copies, I uh, reserved the room to make this quick video. So I actually have about 25 minutes before the library closed. But anyway, uh, this is about the situation in France. So the French uh, election, the runoff or the second round of the SNAP election, which was called by uh, Emmanuel Macron, the French president. And as it stands, it turns out that the, the left, basically the left coalition or the leftist coalition appear to be the victor okay in terms of uh the result how the result is showing okay from the french uh snap election this means that the far right coalition okay led by marie le pen did not uh, uh succeed in taking an overwhelming uh majority of the french uh parliament basically from what the result is showing we are having a what is a split or a hung parliament no one of the political parties in france okay in the general assembly was able to secure an overwhelming or absolute majority to basically be able to form the government okay of their own in the french uh, national assembly now for the past few weeks months or years there has been a projection that the far right was going to be uh, basically obliterating uh, Emmanuel Macron and the left-in coalition or the other left-in parties, especially dealing with the fact that the far right basically did absolutely well in the first rounds, okay, of the snap election. Now, this whole thing is very much crazy, okay, for Macron and i do believe also for the uh, western coalition we are at the point in time where we are seeing radicalism throughout the west okay we are seeing extremist or far-right uh, uh, uh groups and even government uh on the march throughout europe and the western world basically we are talking here about the conceptual west in the united states there is a high possibility that donald trump is going to win the election in November okay in the United Kingdom okay or Britain we saw the conservative party yes was defeated in the past election okay the July 4th election and the labor basically uh, has come to power okay for the first time in about uh, 16 years or so but that is not necessarily going to translate into changes in terms of how the Western world interacts, okay, or the conceptual West interacts with the rest of the world, the rest of humanity, that is the global South. However, when we are having the emergence of radicalism or far right movement or government, okay, emerging throughout the West, it is perhaps necessary that the global South take notice, pay attention, and begin to. Uh, uh, strategize in terms of how the global south whether we are talking about as a as an entity together or as the individual countries in the global south how they are going to interact with the conceptual west as a group or the various individual countries in the conceptual uh, west now in terms of the election in France it's an example of what is happening in the west where all of the Western uh, countries, the Western governments are leaders, okay? And I'm talking about the big, most powerful Western countries are leaders. 
they are all in trouble. They are all doing very bad in the, uh, the various polls in their countries, okay? They are likely, the people do not like them, okay? The people have strong grievances against these leaders and there is a problem. So once again, throughout the West, and I'm talking here about the conceptual West, the white West, all of the leaders, okay, or most importantly, the big dogs, the big and powerful Western uh, countries and governments, all of their leaders are in deep trouble, okay? They are facing uh, uh, popularity issues in their country, okay, where they are going down in the polls. The people basically despise them strongly. Whether we are talking about the uh, United States president or government, okay, Joe Biden. And we all know for Joe Biden, he just got defeated by Donald Trump, only by Trump being healthy or looking healthy. Francis Emmanuel Macron, as this election basically showed, is in deep trouble. Uh, Rishi Sunak basically just got defeated. Olaf Scholz of Germany. Throughout the, the West, the conceptual West, all of these leaders, okay, Justin Trudeau of Canada, they are all in deep trouble. They face uh, issues in their various countries, in the pools of their various countries. This is a problem, and I do believe this election in France is a testament to something very big, but something potentially dangerous in uh, the West and throughout the world. Now, it is very interesting that, yes, this uh, week they are going to be having in the United States, NATO summit hosted by the United States. And Emmanuel Macron is supposed to be traveling to the United States. What is interesting though, is that we are having a group of the hated, basically, that's how I'm going to call them. These leaders from Biden, Macron, uh, Schultz, uh, uh, Sunak is no longer in power, but the new guy, okay? Keir Sturmer, or however they call him, uh, Justin Trudeau. These guys are deeply hated in their countries, okay? And if election was to be held today in their various countries, all of them are going to lose uh, their election. But they are going to be coming together, okay? They are going to be grouping in the United States for the NATO summit. NATO actually uh, turned 75 this year, okay, in uh, uh, April. But let me go back to France. I did recall in one of the past videos that I made, okay, uh, last week, which basically pertaining to uh, the French... Uh, star player and captain of the French national football or soccer team, if you will, uh, Kylian Mbappe, who basically stated that Marie Le Pen and the far right, okay, their victory in the first round, he seemed to be hinting that it was a disaster, a big problem for the country. And I do believe that the fact that what has been projected for the far right never come into fruition this meaning that the left wing or the leftist coalition was able to galvanize their support to preventing the far right from taking uh, power in france it seems that even those who did not vote it during the first round or those who probably did not care decided to like uh, just get up and say you know what i am going to participate in this because if marie le pen and the far right uh movement okay or coalition if they take over the french uh, uh parliament win an absolute majority it could be problematic for people in the country in terms of their uh social safety net and all of the uh uh, uh services okay or things that they basically want or feel that they are entitled to as a citizen group, okay? As a compatriot or citizenry of a country. Also, the far right taking 
uh, uh, control of the French parliament in terms of them becoming an absolute uh, majority could spell a disaster, not necessarily for the NATO alliance or for the Western alliance. Yes, these guys are fighting among themselves. They are cursing at each other. Okay, the prime minister of uh, Italy has been throwing uh, hints and throwing stones at Macron and France for the past uh, how many months. But at the end of the day, they are all members, okay, sons and daughters of the white West, the conceptual West, which their platform, their position is that the rest of humanity must never be able to challenge them. The global South must be uh, subjugated. So as much as uh, Marie Le Pen and the far right or far right movement emerging throughout the West, as much as that could be a problem for the various countries in the West, in terms of the global uh, uh, community, how they interact with the rest of humanity, it could be problematic for the rest of uh, the people of the world because these far right entities, whether the United States government is a far right or not, they still, I believe, will still work together under the, the control and the direction of the United States to basically uh, carry out a Western perspective or a Western policies in terms of how they deal with the rest of humanity, the rest of the world that is known as the global south. So that's it. Please tell me what you think. But thank you very much for joining the Echo Invoice community. And thank you very much for watching the Echo Invoice. Peace.